Cameron Poe. It was his first day of freedom in eight years. He was going home to his family. Today's flight is a special one. We're populating Louisiana's Felton Penitentiary. These guys are the worst of the worst. Unfortunately for Poe, sweet bird of freedom, he got on the wrong plane. The stewardess, what's the end of flight moving today? <laughs> From producer Jerry Bruckheimer, who brought us Crimson Tide, and last summer's action thriller, The Rock, comes this year's Ride of the Summer. Go, go, go! What happened? We caught the plane! Nicholas Cage, John Cusack, and John Malkovich. Three, two, one, action! Con Air. He's a U.S. Ranger, highly decorated. He's defending his wife. And he killed a guy. Could have happened to you or me. What motivated me to play Cameron Poe was the notion of the, the rehabilitated prisoner on parole going home to see his family. It's my daughter. It says no personal possessions on this airplane. Just as long as you know, I'll be getting that back at some point. Nick takes you on a ride, a very rough ride. You become him in this movie. What would you do if you're uh, strapped in a plane with a bunch of these uh, insane convicts? What you looking at, punk? Nothing. I was just admiring your cage. It is an interesting concept to think what would happen if, if a super criminal took over the plane and, and had a plan. <laughs> Welcome to Con Air. Where are you going with my plane, Cyrus? We're going to Disneyland. He's been hired to hijack this plane and hold the guards hostage, and they'll escape to South America, and that's the plan. Jailbird 1, you are not cleared for takeoff, and nobody on this aircraft gives a flyer. John Cusack plays U.S. Marshal Vince Larkin, who somehow must regain control of Con Air, and his only ally is on the plane. He has an opportunity to get off the plane, and he doesn't do it. And then I start to think that he could be a guy who might have stayed on the plane to help him resolve the situation. The issue here is how the plane is brought down. Shoot it down. There are innocent people up there. He's got a little girl to come home to. He's been waiting for this day for eight years. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to save the day. Good. Good shot of location on the ground and in the skies above Utah and Nevada, Con Air was a massive production that required the filmmakers to expertly combine high-octane stunt work with groundbreaking live special effects and state-of-the-art visual effects. Well, it's very trying on our production people and our art department, and our, especially our mechanical and special effects. They're all doing a great job. Uh, and this is the, uh, the culmination of a lot of work that uh, has taken place. The best example of this is Con Air's most intricate action sequence, in which a C-123 prop plane crash lands on the Las Vegas Strip. Oh, this is beautiful! They did as much as they could with real planes and real crashes, but there's a certain level of action that they simply couldn't do. So we had to come in and figure out a way to make this crash happen. And in order to do that, we built about 250 feet of the Vegas Strip in miniature. We set up background street with the plane and towed it down the street at 40 miles an hour, crashing into things, breaking lamp posts, cars were hitting the plane, bouncing off, exploding in flames. Viva Las Vegas. The other type of scene that we did was a digital compositing scene. This is where we shot a background plate on the Vegas Strip with real cars, real people, the real strip. Took all those elements, plane, light passes on the plane, computer generated smoke for the plane, the background plates, loaded those all in the computer and then layered them together so that the end result you see the plane coming down the street, real people, real cars running out of the way. It was equally important for the filmmakers to have characters and a story that would attract a high caliber cast. To get John Cusack, to get John Malkovich, to get Bing Rains and Steve Buscemi, it's not going to just be a shoot 'em up. The characters are going to be real, they're going to have depth, and you're going to be able to identify with them. To me, it was a classic story. It reminded me of like, one of those great lifeboat films or submarine films where there's 12 angry men in a tight tin box, and then it's the strongest man left standing. Let's do it! 
try to give you, you know, a good hour and a half. But it's real exciting. We've got the whole world It's smarter and more ironic than your average action film. It just seemed like a sort of fun, sort of boy's own story. What can go wrong? Where are they going to land this thing? How do you feel about the blackjack tables? We're going to do something original and special with this one. We want them to have a good time. Thank you, and have a pleasant flight. Damn. Are you listening? Damn.